Hi guys, welcome to episode 11 of Q-Tips with Techie Carrie. Today we're going to talk about organizing our Google Drive and making our folders a little fancy. So let's get started. All right, we are going to start in our Google Drive. If you are unsure how to get to your Google Drive, you can get to it a couple of ways. The first thing that you can do is once you get into your Chrome browser, you can jump over here to what I call the waffle. You're going to click here and you can go to your drive. Now, if you don't have that waffle when you open up your Chrome browser, you can also open up a new tab and then you're going to type drive.google.com and that will bring up your Google Drive. Now I have three drives open, so I'm going to go ahead and eliminate two of those. Your Google Drive is where you're going to house all of your pictures, your Google Docs, your Google Sheets, your Google Slides, PDFs, um, any movies that you have, any screenshots, any screencastifies, anything that you want to save, you can save inside of your Google Drive. Now today we're going to focus on folders and we're going to make our folders a little bit fancy. So the first thing we need to learn is how to make a folder. We're going to start with the new button. So you're going to click on new and then the first option is folder. Now, Google's going to ask you to name it, so let's call this one Q-Tips and hit Create. And if I scroll down, you can see it right here. So if I'm a student using Google Drive and utilizing folders, one of the first things that I have my students do is recolor the folders. And it's really easy. What you're going to do is you're going to click on a folder and you know that it's highlighted because it's kind of blue. See if I click on that one, you can see the difference. And what you're going to have the kids do is you're going to have them cobra click. Remember, that's our two finger click. If you're on a um, PC, it's going to be just a right click. And then you're going to have the option to change color. Now, I have all of my students, if say I'm teaching middle school, I have them create folders for all of their different classes and I have them color them all different, different colors so it's easier to navigate and they can quickly look and say, okay, green means social studies, red means math, and so forth. Now an additional trick that's for students and teachers and administrators is adding an emoji to each of the folders so that it's even easier for you to visually see which folder is which. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the Chrome Web Store and we're going to search for the emoji keyboard. Now the reason that I like this one is because you are able to change the size of the emoji when you change the size of your text. So it's super handy. And we're going to go ahead and add to Chrome. And remember that the extensions only work in the Chrome browser, so make sure you're using the Chrome browser. It's going to load and then it's going to pop up right here. So I'm going to jump up here to the emoji keyboard. I'm going to click on here. And you can scroll through and see all of the different emojis. So let's pick a fun one. We'll just grab this one. Thumbs up. Once you click on it, it does tell you the name of the emoji. So if you ever forget, you can see. And it says that it's copied now. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to two finger click or right click and go to rename. I'm going to go ahead and paste the emoji in front of there. And now I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a folder that is colored and contains an emoji. So super helpful and visual. Obviously if this is a science class I'm going to choose something science related. If it's math, math related. So this is just our fun example for now. Okay, once you have your folders colored and you've added your emojis, it's now time to share those folders. So as an administrator I would create a folder that has all the templates, maybe your behavior templates, your sick leave templates, your um, field trip forms, all of those forms that you have templates for that don't need to be messed with, just things that teachers have easy access to. Now, of course, there is the shared drive. Um, if your school district doesn't have that set up, then I would definitely set this up. So what you do is you're going to create your folder. 
you're going to cobra click or right click and you're going to go to share okay and what i would do as the administrator as the administrator i could either go in and put in everyone's email addresses here but that would take a while so i would grab that shareable link and i would give access to everyone inside of your school district that way you don't have to worry about anyone getting to it that doesn't have access to it so instead of mine saying google trainer yours would say your school district here change that to that now of course you want to check this one if you're having something that's made of templates that you don't want the teachers to edit or mess with you can make it view only but if it is something you want the teachers to edit of course change to that and then you're going to hit save and then you would share the link to that folder with your staff members and etc and that way they could easily get to it but like i said before if you want to type in all your email addresses you can do it that way as well i hope that you enjoyed learning about organizing your folders and making your folders fancy it is just a really quick tip but i find that it really helps with organization with students staff members and administrators. I hope you have fun adding your emojis to all of your folders and changing all your colors up in your sharing settings. See you next Monday.